When it comes to professional hockey players, we all know how particular they are about their gear. Some guys are wearing shoulder pads or elbow pads that are from junior, while other guys wear their gitch that has to be 10 years old. But for today's video, we're going to focus on one piece of particular equipment gloves. With the insane stick handling and puck possession in today's game, finding the right gloves is crucial, and so much of it honestly just comes down to feel for each individual player. As always, this information is provided via the fine folks over at Gear Geek, where they currently track all equipment data and specs for 752 NHL players. If you haven't already, check out our video on the most popular sticks and the most popular skates in the NHL, which I'll link down below. But in the meantime, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. If you don't, might have to drop the gloves. The most popular skates video was honestly a blowout, with 67% of the NHL currently wearing Bauer skates. The most popular sticks video though was a very tight race, 39.12% of players use Bauer twigs, while 38.30% of players use CCM. That's 286 players for Bauer and 280 for CCM, a very close matchup. The Battle of Gloves is an even tighter competition, as the difference between Bauer and CCM, the two biggest brands, is only two players. 276 players are rocking Bauer mitts, while 274 are using CCMs. As always, these two companies lead the way, followed by a big drop-off before the three other brands. In order of popularity in the NHL, 37.20% wear Bauer, 36.93% wear CCM, 20.22% or 150 players wear Warrior, and then another drop-off before 4.72% or 35 guys wear True, and finally 0.94% or 7 players wear Sherwood gloves. As I mentioned before, gloves are so much about feel and personal preference. There are 36 different types of gloves worn today in the NHL, compared to 24 different types of skates used and 41 different sticks used. Sticks are of course tracked by their graphics, there would be even more unique twigs if we had the true specs or models of each. Now I've got a few pairs of gloves here to show and speak to as we go through the list and can tell you about my experience with each, but let's go through the top 10 most worn pairs of gloves first, followed by a few honorable mentions. Be sure to comment down below what gloves you wear and what your favorite pair ever has been. Despite Bauer being the more popular brand for gloves, it's actually CCM who makes the most popular model of gloves today. The CCM Jetspeed FT1 glove sits in first place with 132 users, or 17.79% of the entire league. According to CCM, the glove focuses on three main areas, protection, durability, and flexibility, and is their premier glove option today. Today. The glove is known to be pretty tapered and anatomical, therefore tighter on the back of your hand and your fingers, which personally, I didn't love when I used this, but I do really like the Pro Flex thumb, which allows for more mobility than some of its competitors. The Jetspeed gloves took over for their predecessor, the Quick Light line, and blew expectations out of the water. My personal favorite thing about the gloves is how lightweight they are, which was certainly a focus of CCMs. We can always argue over players, but as far as I'm concerned, the three best players in the NHL today all wear this glove. Nathan McKinnon, Austin Matthews, and Connor McDavid. You add in John Tavares, Alex Ovechkin, Tage Thompson, etc., and you've got a pretty stacked lineup of guys rocking the CCM Jetspeed FT1 glove. For second place, we shift our focus to Bauer, as 105 players, or 14.15% of the league, currently wears Bauer Vapor Hyperlite gloves. We first saw these donned at the Holinka Gretzky Cup in the summer of 2022, and since then, they've caught on like wildfire. These gloves are, in some ways, an improved version of the extremely popular Bauer Vapor 2 2x Pro gloves, which a lot of guys actually still use. They look and feel like your typical Bauer glove, a little bit more relaxed fit in the backhand and fingers, and feature a higher cuff than CCMs, as we're accustomed to seeing from Bauer. The Hyperlite gloves have a new shock light foam plate on the backhand, which is supposed to be far more protective than the 2x Pros were, and they have also been applauded for their long-lasting durable palms. These are the lightest gloves that Bauer offers to date, and they are currently worn by NHL superstars such as Nikita Kucherov, Jack Hughes, Bo Horvat, and Cole Caulfield. Personally, I prefer these over the CCM jet speeds, but I've only worn them a handful of times, excuse the pun. Third place goes back to CCM with the CCM Ultra Tax gloves at a much lower 58 users or 7.82%. These gloves first debuted in 2015, so it's no surprise to me that for the most part, the players wearing these gloves are guys that came up around that time. Artemi Panarin, Alex Tuck, Brock Besser, Nick Schmaltz, and others are amongst the crew wearing these mittens. The D30 foam is very common in gloves made now in 2023, but the Ultra Tax were one of the first gloves to implement it back in 2015. The glove is built to contour your hand and again has a pro flex thumb. Personally, I, I had these gloves when they came out and I did like them, but if I were to nitpick, the design on the back of these is a little bit weird to me and they're a little outdated now. Finishing 
off the podium, but in a respectable fourth place, we have a tie between two different Bauer lines, the Bauer Supreme Ultrasonic Gloves and the Bauer Supreme Mock Gloves, each with 43 users or 5.80% of the show. We'll start with the Ultrasonic as it's the older line here. It is a super comfortable glove. Again, Bauer has the longer cuff, but it's nice and loose here for maximum flexibility. The fit is designed to be the same as the 2S Pro Glove from 2019, but with a couple of key upgrades to protection elements of the glove. These mitts are currently worn by the likes of Jack Eichel, Steven Stamkos, Travis Konechny, and Nikolai Ehlers. Tied with the Ultrasonics are the Mock Gloves, which were first worn by David Pasternak in April 2023. This is the tightest fitting Bauer glove that I have tried emphasis on tried because I popped it on in a store whereas I've worn the rest that I mentioned earlier. But again, this one is built to be as light as possible. I've seen some very mixed reviews of these online and as I mentioned have never used them in a game, but they seem to be working just fine for Pasta, Mika Zabinajad, Pierre-Luc Dubois, and Shea Theodore. So with a tie there between the two pairs of Bowers, that gets us through the top five pairs of gloves. In sixth place, we have our first Warrior option with the Warrior Covert QRE gloves at 40 players or 5.39%. The Covert Covert QRE is a very good glove. It's a newer model than the Covert QRL, which we'll hear from soon, and has a lot of what you're looking for in a top-of-the-line glove. Good range of motion, good protection and durability, and the one thing I always notice with the newer Warrior gloves is how dry my hands stay. They call it their Wartech FNC liner, and it's made for breathability as well as keeping your money makers dry. The Covert QREs are worn by the likes of Mark Stone, Dylan Larkin, Jacob Truba, and Ross Mastalin. Seventh place is actually only one player behind, as the Bauer Vapor 2X Pros have 39 players using them, or 5.26% of the league. When these babies first came out, they were the lightest glove on the market. Bauer Vapor gloves fit looser and wider than the Bauer Supreme line, which is intended to be a little bit more fitted and anatomical. As I've hinted at throughout, I prefer the looser fit, so personally, I love these gloves. Unfortunately, I don't have them with me here today, but I understand why so many pro guys are still wearing them, even if they aren't as protective as some of the newer versions. From Kale McCarr and Charlie McAvoy to Quinn Hughes and Elias Pettersson, Alexander Barkov and Jesper Bratt, there's a long list of great hockey players wearing these mitts, excluding myself from that list of course. Eighth place goes back to Warrior as teased with the Warrior Covert QRL gloves as 36 players or 4.85% of the league currently wears them. Very similar to the QREs that we discussed in 6th, as these were the prior model, so I won't dive in too deep here. But again, it's a good glove with pretty much everything you're looking for, including lots of flexibility. Braden Point, Rupe Hints, Johnny Goudreau, and Darnell Nurse are still using these gloves, so there's no reason that we couldn't be too. Ninth place finally brings us our first glove from True, as 31 NHLers, or 4.18% of the league, are repping the True Catalyst 9X gloves. I'll start this one off by saying that True gloves always look really tapered and anatomical to me. I prefer for the wider fit is I can't stand when it's too tight on the back end, ahem, warrior, and when there isn't enough wrist mobility, but I really do enjoy true gloves. I've worn a bunch of different true gloves at various events, but this pair here is the only one that I've personally owned. They are the Z-Palms actually, which is a whole nother story for another day, but I wanted to try them out and was given this pair by a brand. These are the True XC7 gloves, which is a mid-range 150-ish dollar glove. Not the top of the line glove by any means, but I truly, excuse the pun again, really like the way that these ones fit. True has a great balance of being tapered or more fitted while still having a great range of motion inside the cuff here. The Catalyst 9X gloves are slightly older now, having been first used in the summer of 2021, but you can still spot them most nights in the NHL. From Mitch Marner to Timo Meyer, Brady Kachuk to Mason McTavish, a lot of good players speak about the amazing feel of these True gloves. Now, another bonus piece of extra info on True, since this is their only appearance in the top 10, the True Pro Hybrid gloves are set to come out in July 2024, and I, I honestly think they'll be pretty popular. Currently, they're only being used or tested by three guys. Ryan Graves, Jacob McDonald, and Dennis Gilbert, which aren't typically the big name guys that we see promoting or demoing gloves. The 10th and final spot in, well, the, the top 10 goes back to Bauer with the Bauer Pro Series glove. 29 players or 3.91% of the league use these today, including Patty Kane, Clayton Keller, Adam Fox, and Capo Caco, who was the first to wear these on New Year's Eve 2021. Bauer scrapped the Nexus name for this set of mitts, but kept most of the classic four-roll design and feel. 
It got a little bit narrower and a little bit more rounded than the next line had ever been, but in general, it's a comfy glove. It's not going to have the highest protection, and it certainly isn't one of the lightest on the market, but I do really enjoy the feel of this glove. So there's the top 10. To recap in order, we've got the CCM Jetspeed FT1, the Bauer Vapor Hyperlite, the CCM Ultratax, the Bauer Supreme Ultrasonic, the Bauer Supreme Mach, the Warrior Covert QRE, the Bauer Vapor 2X Pros, the Warrior Covert QRL, True Catalyst 9X, and finally, the Bauer Pro Series. I mentioned that there'd be some honorable mentions, so I have three different gloves here that I want to show off. 11th place actually went to my personal favorite mitts, the classic CCM 4-Roll Pro. 25 guys in the league are still using these, just four less than the 10th place glove. I've gotten multiple different pairs from teams over the years, and they're always my go-to, honestly. My pair here is the original, which was definitely more popular four to five years ago, but today the CCM 4-Roll Pro 2 retails for about $175. I personally love the range of motion that these give me and I feel that it's always been the right kind of fit for me. Some of you may hate these, some of you may love them, but like I said before, it comes down to personal preference more than anything and I've always had success with the four rolls. Miro Heiskanen, Vladimir Tarasenko, Jacob Chikrin, and Tevu Taravainen, four of the funkier names on this list, but four of the guys still using four rolls today. Another pair to show off here is the Sherwood Wrecker Legend Pro Gloves. As you may recall from the video on sticks, I love Sherwood and we do a lot of work with them as a brand. I'm using their sticks a lot, but I'm yet to have found myself in love with their gloves. The Wrecker Legend Pros are the successor to the Element One gloves, and honestly, they're a lot better overall. The fit is quite comfy, but it's a little bit too tight for my liking. The best thing I love about Sherwood gloves is there's next to no break-in period. Even though I haven't used these gloves too often, they feel perfectly broken in. This is where it gets interesting though, the Sherwood Mobile Plus Cuff. I hope you can tell well enough in the video here, but this is basically a, a separate loose piece here inside. It's adjustable with a Velcro strap for you to play with the cuff as you would like. The cuff can be fully moved around, loose and tight and whatever you need. I've used the analogy that it's kind of like putting on a shoe that has a sock built into it. It's definitely weird at first, but I do like the range of motion that it gives me. So the Mobile Plus cuff makes Sherwood interesting, but what makes Sherwood really interesting is that there's only seven guys wearing their gloves, but wearing five different models. Matthew Kachuk is the only one wearing the Code V Pro, where Arturi Lekkonen is the only one still wearing the Wrecker Element 1. Two guys wear the Code TMP Pro, Quinton Byfield and Connor Brown, while Alex Dabrinkit wears the Wrecker Legend Pro here. So that leaves us with Sherwood's two biggest names, Connor Bedard and William Nylander. Willie Styles is the face of their Code line, so he is wearing the unreleased Code Encrypt gloves, which are expected to hit retail next year. There have been rumors that he actually wears the Wrecker gloves, but in this recent photo, they do look like Encrypts to me. Bedard, on the other hand, is their guy for the Wrecker line, so he's wearing Wrecker gloves, at least we think, because they have a record logo on them but he has been spotted in Code Encrypt gloves a number of times. Similar to True, I think more and more players will start wearing Sherwood as the quality is honestly great. Lastly, I want to show off these Warrior Alpha LX2 Pro gloves. Only one guy in the NHL is wearing them today, Bobby Brink of the Philadelphia Flyers, despite them being Warrior's most expensive option at retail at $270. That puts them up there with the highest priced gloves on the market, such as the Hyperlites, the Mox, the CCM Tax, AS5 Pros, and to me, they just aren't worth that amount of money. I do like the palms in these and I like the fingers, but what I dislike is how tight it is up here on the back of your hand. It's almost closer to the wrist. A lot of guys that I know that wear these as team gloves actually take the padding out here and cut it out to give themselves more space on the back. Warriors got a lot of guys wearing their gloves, but from such a high priced option, I'd expect more guys wearing it. So there you have it. Those are the top glove brands, the top 10 glove models, and a few honorable mentions. My absolute favorite part of these videos is reading the comments down below to see what type of gloves you guys are wearing. So be sure to let me know down below what your favorite pair is, what you're wearing today. Just talk to me about gloves. As always, gigantic thank you to Gear Geek for doing God's work tracking and analyzing all this data. Hit that subscribe button for me, and as always, we'll see you next week.